I would say we're in the credit card bubble. Uh, you're seeing that now. You're seeing very large charges for losses at places like Citi, which has a big credit card business. You're seeing American Express do unusual things like offer to pay $300 to anybody. They're only offering, making this offer to certain bad, bad card holders. They don't want to get rid of their good card holders, but it, they'll pay a, a bad card holder $300 to give up his card. And that is uh, really, um, I, don't, I don't recall anything like that happening before. Why wouldn't they just cancel the card? Well, because these, uh, okay, I, I, you're right. The, the deal is if you'll, if, you'll pay off your, if you pay off your balance, we'll give you $300. So they end close your, end close your account. So they get, uh, they get the balance paid off and uh, they get rid of this person they just as soon not be lending to, and they're doing it for $300. And it's probably driving their competitors wild because if you were a cardholder who had several cards and you had that kind of deal presented to you, you'd take all your available money and apply it to that card and let the other ones go. And um, so that's, that's something very unusual going on out there. So is your sense in that American Express is trying to beat other card companies to the, the chase of like the last few dollars? I, don't, I doubt if that was exactly their purpose, but they certainly know enough about their business to know that that's probably what's going to happen. If a cardholder has several cards, they're going to choose to pay off the one that um, at currently is giving them the best deal. I don't know that some of these banks are nationalized in all but the name uh, of them right now, like Citi. Has, uh, hard, the equity shareholders have hardly anything left. I'm not sure that completely taking them over uh, cures any problems. Um, and, uh, and there's some good banks out there. Um, uh, Wells Fargo, for example, uh, which cut its dividend yesterday. Um, but. And there are many smaller banks that are good. So I just think that, um, uh, well, I think that the problems are horrendous for the government. And deciding what is the right way to go is very difficult. And uh, particularly because they're subjected to uh, criticism and hindsight at every moment they turn around. And, and right now, I certainly don't think they've been perfect in execution, but at least they've got the dollars there that are available to be put in. And I hope they'll just choose to spend them in the wisest way and to do it as fast as possible. Well, it came from a lot of excess by a lot of different people and um, by um, the regulators not paying close en enough attention to many things, including leverage. I think that when you get uh, right down to it, so much of what has happened is because the banks, um, banks, the, the commercial banks and the investment banks leveraged themselves up in a way that really put them into an area of high risk and nobody paid much attention, including a lot of investors who should have been smarter. I feel like we will come back, but I, I don't know what the timing's going to be. And uh, certainly um, the stock market will turn out to anticipate it. So we won't have it start up and at the same moment the stock market starts up. The stock market will almost certainly anticipate what's going to happen before it happens. Mm -hmm.